There's not a way to sugarcoat this. His career ended before it even started. If you think I'm wrong, tell me then, tell me. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of unlucky. Oh man, oh man. You hate to see it, you really do. And I'm not doing it. I'm letting you know right now, I am not doing it. I will not, and I refuse to give you the backstory on the Angelo Ball. You should know everything about him, or a lot about him. I'm not here to tell you, oh, he was really good in high school. He averaged 32.7 points per game, shot 57%, blah, 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 blah. Not gonna happen. The reason it's not going to happen is because we all know this. What we're here to talk about in this video, unfortunately, I hate to say this, I really do. It is the sad and cold truth. Leandro Ball's career has officially ended before it really even started. Well, let me go back on that statement. I don't think it's necessarily sad because he's still a millionaire. I'll say this, and it's a better way to put it. It is a strange and a weird situation. I gotta be completely honest with you. I forgot this guy even existed up until five or six days ago. Around five or six days ago, like I said, this is when it was breaking news and it was announced yet again that Leandro Ball was gonna return to the NBA Summer League with guess who? The Hornets. Everyone's been hyping it up, and to be completely Completely honest, I'm sick and tired of it. It's the same story we see every single year. Same story, different year. We see this year after year after year. We've got a lot to talk about and go over in this video. If you like basketball content or any videos like this in general, consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you here. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. We're on the road to 300k. And now without further ado, let's get into it. Real quick, real quick, before we get into it, I want to talk about this situation because I am curious. I haven't kept up with this all too much, but I've been hearing everybody on Sports Center just anywhere talking about Brittany Griner. For those of you that don't know, she got locked up in Russia or some country like that. And to make a long story short, she's trying to get back to America and we can't get her back or something like that. I brought it up to say this because I saw somebody say this on Twitter. If that was LeBron James in Brittany Griner's shoes, the US would have had her back in one or two days. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I'm going to let you know right now. Uh, most of y'all know I am not a LeBron. LeBron fan. I'm a Kobe fan, so you know how that goes. If you're a Kobe fan, you don't really care for LeBron. If you're a LeBron fan, you don't really care for Kobe. But anyways, if that was LeBron over there, and I'm not even a fan of LeBron, I would have flew over there to get him myself. I don't care. You're not taking LeBron from America. That's just not going to happen. And I know a bunch of guys, you would bat me on that statement. I'm not even a LeBron fan once again, but you're not taking Bron from us. As far as what's going on with Griner, I don't even know what happened. Apparently, she broke some law and they won't give her back. To be honest, I don't really care about that situation, but I found that funny about that LeBron comment. Anyways, let's get back on topic. Mm, 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 mm. Leangelo Ball, aka the lesser of the Ball brothers. This is no disrespect. Take it how you want it, but he will always be known and remembered for the Ball brother that wasn't too good. He will always be known as the one brother who didn't make it and quite honestly, is a failure. Me personally, do I think since Leangelo didn't make it to the NBA, he's a failure? No. Getting into the NBA is one of the hardest things any athlete can do in any sport, because in football, there's so many players that can play. In baseball, same thing. But in basketball, only five players can play at a time. For example, in football, you got 11 starters on offense and 11 on defense. So that's 22 open spots right there. In baseball, you have nine starters and you also have a ton of pitchers. But in basketball, there's not an offensive unit, a defensive unit. There's only five players. So to say he's a failure in life just because he didn't make it to the NBA, I think that's overdoing it. There's many other things you can do in this life to be successful. And I have heard rumors, and I went to his Instagram to confirm this, that he is starting or he is currently doing a modeling career. Or not doing, that's the wrong way to say it. He's pursuing a modeling career. That sounds better. Hey, if he wants to do that, that's what's up. I'm wishing him the best of luck. Don't worry, we're not here to talk about his modeling career. Let's get serious and talk about basketball. I'm going to show you right here. Five days ago, it was announced that Leandro Ball is quote-unquote back on the Hornets Summer League roster. And here we go again, everybody freaking out. Oh my gosh, he's finally getting his chance. He could potentially be in the NBA. No, 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 and no. We're seeing this happen this year. We saw it happen last year and the year before that. Every single summer, some team signs Leandro Ball for PR or for publicity, and then nothing ever comes out of it. They cut him. And come on now, let's not play dumb here. Do you think it's a crazy coincidence that the Hornets have signed him? No! They're doing it this year, and they did it last year to make LaMelo Ball happy. LaMelo Ball is more than likely saying, hey, at least give him a chance, and if the Hornets sign him to the Summer League, they can at least tell LaMelo, hey, we gave him a chance, but we still don't like him. That's all they're doing, and I'm not mad at it. It makes total sense. You want to make your 
star players happy or your future star players happy. It's the same thing with Giannis. The Bucks signed Giannis' brother, and I don't know too much about him, so I don't want to be critical, but I have heard people saying if Giannis wasn't the star player or blah, 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 his brother wouldn't even be in the NBA. I have seen Giannis' brother play, and I've seen highlights, and I don't know if that's all too true. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Giannis' brother is going to be an all-star or anything, but he looks like a decent bench player. That's besides the point, though. You get what I'm saying. We see this from time to time. These teams, they want to make the star player happy, so if they have a brother who could potentially be in the NBA, they at least give him a chance. But check this out. About two days ago, right when the summer league was starting, it was announced that Leandro Ball has entered the health and safety protocols for you know what. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of unlucky. He wound up going on his Instagram and posted this. Dang, I just want to hoop. Look, man, I hate that form. I really do. It sucks. But come on now, it doesn't change a single thing. It doesn't matter if Leandro Ball played in every summer league game and dropped 30 points. They're not going to put him on the roster. They're not going to. It's not going to happen. And it never will happen more than likely. I'm done with this and this is a message to all of you. You should be done with it too. Do I think Leangelo is a good basketball player? Yes, of course I do. But there's nothing about his game that stands out to you or any GMs out there. There's not a single thing that he can do that any other G League player can't. And to make it to the NBA and get selected to be put on a team, there's got to be something about your game that stands out. The only thing you can make an argument for is he's a good shooter. And when I mean good shooter, I'm talking about catch and shoot because he's not going to create his own shot. You can throw that out the window. Well, dang, man, I can go to my local high school basketball game and find a guy who can catch and shoot spot ups. If you think I'm wrong, tell me then. Tell me what about his game stands out. What does he do that separates himself from other players? Not a single thing. For example, let's just take a look at his two brothers. Lonzo Ball is extremely athletic, great vision, he can pass, he can dribble, do almost everything, and he's also developed a great three-point shot. Take a look at Lomelo. He's a six foot seven demigod point guard. He can dribble, create for others, shoot, do everything. He's awesome. But take a look at Leangelo. He's not that tall. He's not that athletic. He can't create for others. He can't create his own shot. He's not freakishly athletic like LaMelo or Lonzo. There's nothing about his game that says NBA player. I wouldn't say he's a liability on defense, but he's not a defensive superstar like Marcus Smart. There's not a way to sugarcoat this. His career ended before it even started. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. If you think I'm wrong, I got a bet for you. If you think I'm wrong about this, would you be willing to bet $10,000 that Leangelo will make it to the NBA? Because I'm telling you right now, I would take that bet in a heartbeat, betting against him saying he won't make it to the NBA. He's not going to. You know why? Because he's not good enough. I am very curious. Let me know your thoughts on anything we talked about down below. But uh, ah, 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 ah. You know why I'm here. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know why I'm here. Your boy, Matt. I'm just going to be honest. I got bills coming up. Uh, yeah, so I need this video to get to eight minutes. I also... I want to buy a new car soon, so that would, yeah, getting this video to 8 minutes would help. But I'll be right